What's going on everybody? The Retro Gamer is back with you and this time we're going to do some more of those LJN wrestling games. We looked at Royal Rumble and Raw in, a later, in an earlier episode and now we're taking a look at Super WrestleMania for the Genesis. Or Super Nintendo, I think. Yeah, WrestleMania Challenge. Yeah. <coughs> I'll step back a moment. Ultimate Warrior, and a few others that I'm not quite remembering. Yeah, people will see them on the screen. They'll see them on the screen. They really didn't have to read them off. They were the music. These themes sound absolutely excellent for a 16 bit game, especially if they didn't get the right. And Bob, Vince McMahon and Bobby Heenan on commentary, although I understand that you can't have voice, some games can't have voices, and this was one of them, but everything was done right in this game. I really can't find a th anything wrong with it. I mean, what a, it's one of those rare wrestling games where there's literally nothing wrong with it. It's The frame rate's smooth, the music and sound is great, the graphics are pretty good for, a, for the time, and there's even a cheering crowd, although, again, I wish there had been... I wish it had been crowd chance, but again, you can't really get everything in these games. And even the referee has, vo has a voice. Whereas in other wrestling games of this company in nature that we've looked at, there was no, uh, there was no voice for the referee, which that's actually a plus. Everything, even the, uh, even the wrestlers are pretty much pretty well voiced or sound affected here. <coughs> now. Yeah, I got my butt handed to me here. I'll give it to you, but I haven't played this in years, so. Anyway, overall, this game is actually very decent. Er, not, it's not very decent, it's very good, actually. And, at, and I, I just enjoyed playing it. I would definitely recommend this one or play this one again. And <clears throat> we're actually going to go through. I guess we'll go through the. No now we're not going to go through another match, uh, we'll be right back with another review though in just a second. And we are back with another review, this is a WWF WrestleMania Challenge for the NES, one of my personal favorite wrestling games of all time, and you see three game types there. <coughs> it's your standard stuff, really. But I would not choose yourself, because your self stats is weak, but the rest of the roster, Ravishing Road Warrior, British Beef Cake, Hulk Hogan, Andre, Big Boss Man, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, and I'm going to be, for the sake of this, I'm going to be using Red Brick Road. Now, <clears throat> one main thing that surprises me about this game, not only do the themes and the wrestlers look great, but they, they actually have finishing moves. Not a lot of the NES wrestling games actually did that. Um, and right off the bat, you hear a ravishing theme, or as WWE 2K16 calls it, the stripper. That's not the correct theme, but oh well. 
And here's... I like how it segues into the person stream who's actually winning the match, so you can tell a little more further who's winning. And there's the sleeper. <coughs> but... I wish the crowd weren't so quiet here, and the finishing moves and the rest of the moves were really easy to pull off. Um, <coughs> I had no trouble remembering this because well, I have a physical copy. I can replay this anytime I want, but the graphics are pretty good for a game like this. But we're going to go into two matches here so I can cover more. And hopefully, so y'all can see me win a match. But, uh, however, if you do do rematch, it's the same two people you can't choose another one. That's the only drawback I have with this game. Cause like, what if you, what if you lost and didn't want to use that same character again, say like in Street Fighter or something? <coughs> well, you can tell who's who. Rude's in the green, and um, I believe that's Beefcake in the pink. Anyway, it's a pretty solid fighting game, a pretty solid wrestling game, and um, <coughs> this is definitely one I would recommend to people. And uh, that's all for this episode of the Retro Gamer. We will see you guys again very soon.